Penelope was an extraordinarily spoiled princess. Her mother, Queen Ethelwyn, spoiled her quite a bit, but her father, King Theophilus, spoiled her rotten. Penelope was not a pleasant child. For her eighth birthday, Queen Eth and King Theo asked her if she'd like a pony. Don't like horses, said the princess. A puppy, they asked. Don't like dogs, said the princess. Or a kitten, they asked. Don't like cats, said the princess. So they asked, what do you want? I want a pig, I want a pig, I want a pig, she said. And so the king and queen resolved to get Penelope just what she wanted, a pig. The king issued a proclamation for all the farmers in the land to present a pig to their dear spoiled Penelope. She inspected them all and chose the very last one in line. This scrawny pig named Lollipop was owned by a scrawny orphan named Johnny Skinner. And of course, being a loyal subject of the king, he gave the pig to Princess Penelope. Now Johnny had a special way with this pig named Lollipop. He had trained her to sit, to lay down, and even to roll over. Penelope wanted to train the pig too. Johnny realized he might be able to teach Penelope some manners while he was teaching her to train the pig. Later in the story, Penelope informs her father the king that she wants Lollipop the pig to live in the palace, but the queen won't hear of it. If the pig comes in, mommy goes out, she said. And she makes sure the king knows it too. The king, who can't say no to either his daughter or his wife, is stuck between a rock and a hard place. He gives it some thought and decides Johnny Skinner can help. Can Johnny train Lollipop to not make messes in the palace? Can he help Penelope lose her brattiness? And can he ever help the king convince the queen that a pig should live in the palace? Will a lollipop ever win over the queen's heart, or the king's for that matter? Will she ever become a royal pig? And what will happen to the kind, patient, and helpful Johnny Skinner? Read Lady Lollipop by Dick King Smith, illustrated by Jill Barton, to find out. <laughs>